I usually pick a film for the story. I feel like I, I, want, I want to believe in the story and be curious and interested in the story. Then, secondly, if the character feels like something that that needs me or that I could do, uh, that I could serve that story properly, then I'll take it on. Um, I was raised for 10 years in the Midwest, so I was excited about about making a film in the Midwest. Uh, the character, yeah, of course, there's an enormous amount of um, enormous amount of stuff in the character: loneliness, self-loathing, compulsion, addiction, all kinds of very, very human and interesting things. And I suppose I also have always loved um, myths and fairy tales, surrealist painting, things that are not just um, uh, not just realistic but are real, but are searching, are kind of, my image for it is, uh, is, you know, when you hit a harmonic on the guitar string, not just the solid note, you hit a harmonic and all eight or a certain number of other notes are heard behind it. And when you have a, a story that is more mythological, then, then you, get, you get these multiple meanings. And that's what I felt reading the screenplay. So that's what attracted me to it. Luke is also a very famous interior designer, you know, which is unusual. I never met a director who was a very successful interior designer. So he works with textiles, colors, sensations. Um, he's not just driven by ideas and and stories and concepts. He's he's working all the time with the whole body of, of life, with the physical as well as other things. So that was a good clue for me. It was not... And, I must say, I've been watching the other performances too. Many people I know, Michael Stuhlbarg, the two young actors playing the leads, Timothy and Taylor, myself, he's brought very sensual performances out of us. Uh, in, and I don't know how he did it, really. It, it wasn't like he gave us a lot of direction, as much as he encouraged things that he liked. He let things happen quite a lot. But, he, but in the edit and in what he encouraged from us... So he gave things to me like these hens, these Cornish hens that I'm feeding her. And he showed me how to flatten them um, like you do if you, if you, a particular kind of way of treating a chicken or a duck or something. You, you, you break, the, you flatten them down to cook them. He would give me certain things like that, a very sensual thing. That, that was the equivalent of him explaining what the scene was about, which is never very useful to me actually or asking me to do specific things. He would just show me something and smile and say, it's good, huh? And so I'd say, yeah, that is good, yeah. 